You're, t- you're tuned into After Buzz TV for Empire Season 2, Episode 17, titled Rise by Sin. Are you shocked that Jamal got shot? We're going to discuss it and more. Let's go. You're tuning into the destination for TV I didn't know I was allowed to end. discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Hey, hey. Every day I need a lady. <laughs> <laughs> what would I be without you? <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Bam Erickson, and I would like to introduce the panel. Hey, everyone, I'm Sophia Stanley. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Cornelia. And I'm Emil Anders Jr. Okay, so, uh, wow, last night was, I, I thought it was a really great episode. What did you guys think? Agree. Yeah, it was, it was good. It picked up from the others, definitely. Okay, so uh, D Major wants to produce Jamal's album. He encourages him to break away from Cookie, stop being a mama's boy. And we see a couple times they're in the studio, they're interacting, and they're starting to get really, really, really close. What's you guys' take on this courtship? I mean, <laughs> every day. <other day. laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. So, I mean, that dude is so. I don't like. I can't. I, I, right now, I can't stand no complicated dude. I can't stand oh. no complicated dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He be looking grouchy and then he be like rushing up on him, like, well, you know what it is. Like, dude, just get make up your mind. So, his whole being annoys me like it, it just does i would agree with that and i think i'm even further annoyed because it'll be different if it was a circumstance where d major was on the dl he's been struggling with this for years and he says you know jamal i've been struggling but i think i'm at this time and place in my life where i think i could possibly be open to the idea of coming out publicly and us having a relationship publicly <clears throat> there's been no conversation with that there doesn't seem like there's ever going to be a conversation it's always so I'm gonna bring this model on the red carpet with me. You know how it is. Like there's there it, it doesn't seem there's ever gonna be any growth with the relationship. So right now it just seems like it's a hookup, which is fine, but Jamal has clearly caught feelings. And I don't know if it's um reciprocated by D major. See uh, oh, go ahead, man. Oh, I think he totally has feelings for Jamal. Go ahead. That's it. Oh, so you think that he that um D major, D major does in fact have feelings for Jamal. Mm-hmm. Hmm. See, for me it's more a matter of uh, it, it's actually more so a fact of. Day? I'm sorry. Sorry, he's messy. Which one? Like, D major. D major. Like if you're so in the closet, then don't kiss me at my place of work. Don't rub up on me on my place of work. Don't mm-hmm. amp up on me at my place of work, and don't try to put me on blast at my place of business. You better preach. Do you know what I mean? So my thing is this: like, no, dude, you need to like sew your role. You need to kick rock. So. For me, I almost felt like I was played because we all know that last week I was like, ooh, girl, he's fine. Like, I was so on that bandwagon. And then this week, fast forward one scene when when um, Lucius basically knows everything. Sorry, we're I'm crunching on a Ricola again. Sorry, they're so good. I have a sore throat. I always do. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I apologize. But... The fact that Lucius played him so much and was like, oh, yeah, hello, I know he's on the DL. Like, he's making you his bitch. Like, I literally, like, I felt like I was Jamal. And I was like, really? He doesn't like me? It's Like, I literally was, like, having that moment. And then that made me even more mad. Because it's literally like, yo, you on the DL, but this is, like, your get down? No, nah, I'm about, like, I don't believe in putting people on blast. So I just mean this figuratively, not literally. Put him on blast. Like, for that alone, I'm about to blow up your whole spot. Great point. I do, but uh, but I do think that although he does have a past with playing rich boys, and he has a past, which I was trying to allude to that last week without trying to uh, give so much information away. It's okay. just that. Did you have some tea? A little bit. Oh, but I got that. <clears throat> but mm-hmm. working in an entertainment business is different from working at T-Mobile. Yes. Because you travel, you know, D Major has all of these people around him. They pay his phone bill. They they arrange for him to fly. Like people in the people know mm. things that you just don't know otherwise because sometimes you have to be with these people like around the clock. Excellent so point. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised mm. that 
It ain't a secret. You did say that last week. You were very adamant. You were like, there's no way yeah. that nobody in this camp knows. And I remember I was like adamant that there's no way that they do know. No, yeah. but, but you think about point. it. Think about everybody that Excellent we've point. heard that Thank is you. on the down low. If we, if it got to us. But no, but come on. But the problem is, though, in the world that we live in nowadays, that would be everybody. Mm-hmm. Does it make sense? Everyone at one time has that quote unquote accusation slung at them for whatever reason. So the like, problem is no, it's but, become but the truth though. Like think like some oh, truth. Oh. <laughs> no, like, yeah, I'm like Sophia, just FYI, <laughs> um, everybody is loving your outfit in the chat. Oh, thank you. And her you, hair, thank like you, it's so pretty. Oh yeah, comment on your bun too. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Sophia looking bomb tonight. <laughs> 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 thank you. Um, just really quickly before we go further on in the scene, um, although Like I said, although he has a pass of obviously playing these boys, I still feel like Jamal is just a little bit different. So he likes him besides Mm -hmm. being a booty call because normally in a situation like that, I'm going to assume that he wouldn't do the things that he would do. Like there's just too much affection and too much things that you're doing. What (laughs) affection? The the touching. Like there there was a lot of touching. I kind of see what Bam's yeah. saying, but I think the like problem grass. is is that I think that there are two different types of dogs. I think that there are there are the standard dogs and there are actually worse dogs who that's part of how they play you. Do you know what I mean? Like they get off on the power that like you really are into them. So they're gonna do all of those little things mm-hmm. and they're gonna do that tug of war like, oh, I don't I'm not really out, so we can't be together. Oh, but I like you. Oh, don't touch me. Oh my god, let's have mm-hmm. sex. Like th- yeah. that back and forth is actually what makes you really 100% into them. That's our door opening, just mm. in case you guys are wondering mm. what that is. Mm. No, we have to be honest with our mm-hmm. fans because mm-hmm. I yeah. was totally like, oh my God, what's yeah. happening? Yeah. <laughs> um, so- <laughs> Emil and I used to, um, back when we first started um, here at After Buzz TV, there was a show that we did on CW called yeah. LA Complex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when, when D Major did the whole get off me, I totally thought of L.A. Complex because Andre Fuller used to play this rapper, this this D.L. rapper um, with Ben Watson, and when they were getting close, he did the same thing. It was like, get off me. Andre's full, uh, Andre Fuller's character beat him up, was, which was a lot more worse than that, but it was a very L.A. Complex moment where, like, you're guilty like that that mm-hmm, moment it just just well, guilty back, and by the way I didn't realize how many people after we talked about that last week I didn't realize how many people um, watch LA Complex there were so many people saying oh mm-hmm. you stole the storyline from LA Complex um, but it was very similar um, and I agree with Bam on LA Complex that particular interaction between them when he got caught was a little more brutal um, but it is when a hit, a hit dog will holler and so, mm-hmm. especially mm-hmm. with men on the DL, like, there are telltale signs, and it's obvious, and the fact that he's so adamant, like, th- th- there would be no reason if it's just the two of them in the studio for him to be getting so angry. You know what I mean? And especially with people in the industry where there's already rumors around them. So we were introduced to D Major not having any context of what has been floating around the industry already. Mm-hmm. So as Lucius gave us that inside scoop, if there's already little murmurs floating around, if you walk in with your gay son and this guy who's screaming at him, not to assume that automatically because that's happening that he's gay but just also, the way he was also interacting too though it's also like from everything we know about jamal so it's like how did jamal get that close to you dude wait but also that that's true and also jamal's reaction didn't reflect the situation either because the way his face he's like <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean no but totally like you know what i mean like do we think that jamal's just running up on dude he didn't like even try to play, but that's why i love in that moment <laughs> try to play like he didn't like he because the way he was screaming d major was screaming at jamal in order for any type of um action to elicit that type of response mm-hmm. jamal would have had to look like he was like something like angry or upset if he was like he had his little sweater on and he, like, <laughs> like, like, a little bunny rabbit, like, like oh but he sure amped up on his dad though mm-hmm. okay so now let's go into that so once d major leaves lucius starts laughing there was I'm just going to give a couple quotes, and then I'm mm-hmm. just going to let you guys go. So he laughs. He says, D major still on the DL. He asks, Jamal asks how. He says, a real man can always tell a fake bitch. Um, I've been in this business a long time. I know a little bit about everyone. His secret life is no secret. Then they start going, taking jabs. Uh, he likes to turn rich boys into his bitch. You don't crap where you eat. You keep throwing this unnatural. But that was valid. I didn't sorry. agree with that. Sorry. One. You don't oh, shit I had you to, yeah, sorry. I uh, had to. Agree. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I agree. I think mm-hmm. we all agree on that one. Uh, and then this is where, to me, it got real. And this is where I started to hate Lucius. Uh, you keep throwing this unnatural way into my face. 
I don't enjoy watching my son become some closet phony's little bitch. You always turn into some girl for thinking I did something to you 20 years ago. You crying like, and then he snaps back and says, you're crying like a bitch about your mother throwing you in some water 40 years ago. What does that say about you? I ain't crying. Jamal, don't be a little sissy bitch. Put it into music. Will Lucius, don't be a sissy bitch. Put it into your music. Lucius grabs his throat, raises his fist. He says, you, um, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't got nothing, to, you ain't nothing but a disappointment. The, and then what just made me just go oh, ballistic. I never, I never realized this is what he says. Mm -hmm. Then he says, and the day you die from AIDS, I'm going to, I'm going to celebrate. That's what he said. Okay. That's what he said? That's what he says. Mm -hmm. um, let me say this and then I'm, uh, we also, we also, um, mm -hmm. we yeah. also, mm -hmm. the four of us, we also um, recap Scandal. And I've always said, maybe a couple weeks ago, that I feel like Papa Pope, a.k.a. Reverend Ike, is like the devil devil. After this comment, Lucius, now I officially hate Lucius. He is a devil. He is Lucifer. Mm -hmm. I just, I have nothing else to say, but just go to hell. Okay. Lucius is the, let's think about it, though. When Lucius focuses in on something it's personal to mm -hmm. him for a reason. So mm -hmm. the fact that he is so mad about Jamal being gay. Lucius, are you gay, sir? <coughs> What's or the deal? Or your dad. Because think about Andre. He was so locked in on him being mm -hmm. bipolar. He was locked in and it was a disgrace. <coughs> did blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And we find out that his mom is suffering from the same mental illness. Mm -hmm. Every time Lucius locks in on something, it's because of himself. Grow up. Like, I'm tired. It's just old, dude. It's old. Ugh. While you guys are thinking, I don't know or think that Lucius is gay or has other issues. Whenever you attack Lucius and you hit him below the belt, he goes full out to try to take someone down, even his children. But he's been I, attacking I, the I, gay thing forever. I, I agree with you, Bam. The only thing is, ironically, what Jamal said wasn't below the belt. Jam what Jamal said was just truth. But to you, Lucius, you, true, to, but I yeah. think I think but that I think ironically yeah. though, but I think that's why the words had to be said. Like that's why Lucius is in fact a little child. Because you can't the, the, the blows that you are throwing when they are are literally the exact same blow <laughs> is thrown back at you, you get all in your feelings and you attack in a way that is reprehensible. Um, I'm still processing because I, I watched during lunch and like, I must have missed that. I heard like, oh, when you die. I did not hear that. So my brain is actually still processing the weight of that comment. And I don't mean to have a PSA, but I need to have a PSA. I think what is unfortunate about that statement is it's 30 years, not only too late, but it's, it's, it's so outdated it's that outdated. the sad reality is that actually, in fact, not only is not the demographic who's at most at risk of contracting HIV and then it developing into AIDS, that's the first part. Second part is the actual person, the person most at rest, risk, sadly, is African-American women. And the reason that we are most at risk is because of straight African-American males, not men on the down low, but actual straight heterosexual males who, because of, I can't even think of it as a, as a thought process, but because they think similar to Lucius or similar to this character, that's why they're not getting tested. That's why they're not protecting themselves. That's why their partners don't know. So I think that, again, what it kind of does in a, and again, I don't mean to be having a PSA, but it shows just in general that the entire code with which Lucius lives by is actually false. It's not a matter of whether or not we agree with it or disagree okay. with it from a matter of opinion, right? Because mm -hmm. everyone's entitled to their opinion, and I'm of the belief just because I think something is okay doesn't mean that you have to think something is okay. The difference is when something is not rooted in fact or actually is not only illogical but not factual, that's a whole other conversation. And I think it's just another point that Lucius's whole, in essence, Bible <clears throat> isn't in fact the Bible. It is really the book of the devil. Yeah. Um, for me... I don't necessarily uh, agree that Lucius is, was, or has any desire to be gay. Um, I took it from a different perspective. The reason why I love this scene specifically, obviously it was a hard scene to watch. The reason why I loved it is because it was very much true to reality and layered. And hmm. I speak to this from personal experience, which I'm not going to go into. But what I like about it is Cookie loves him. His family loves him. They accept him. But... In reality, like there are people who 
are whether they're religious, not religious, whatever it may be. You can have somebody in your family where you're like, oh yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah, we all know he's gay. We love, we love Coco. We, oh, we, we love Coco when he comes around. We love his boyfriend. We love everything about him. <laughs> Coco. But that doesn't mean that you completely understand them or mm-hmm. accept them, and you still deep inside or not so deep still have all these feelings but you tend to either hide that around coco but you still talk to your other family members about it and that's the situation we have here where although we've seen lucius come around he's not Hmm. trying to throw him in the trash can or a dumpster anymore but he still has these feelings and i like this scene because what it showed is a lot of people talk about these gay scenes in the show and oh we don't want to see it we want to mm. see that what it showed is it's not showing that everybody in the show is okay with him being gay and you're still entitled to have your opinion how you feel and that's why I like it shows that although um, although Lucius has grown and developed in this relationship with uh, with Jamal he still has a lot of work to do mm. and then it also flips the script because it's like on the other hand too as Jamal, the gay man, what are you asking of your father? What what exactly, what do you want from him? Like, what, what, because a lot of times we say, um, uh, there, there's so many quotes like, um, accept the sin or hate the sin. There's, you know, we can accept you, but we can't accept that. Like, there's so many different things. So then it's like, it's a, it's a deeper conversation that needs to be had. Like, what exactly is acceptable from both hmm. sides? Like, where's the compromise? Hmm. So for me, it like, it, it hit that level where it was a hard scene to watch, but that's why I think there was so much pain and passion from Jamal because he did clap back really fast. But then the more you heard that conversation, it's kind of like, oh, but the final moment where he said, when you die from HIV, I agree with Sophia. No, he didn't say HIV. He said AIDS. 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 It is a difference. When he said that statement, though, that was hard to watch because, one, like Sophia said, that is a very outdated statement. Um, but also, that goes beyond just accepting or not accepting my lifestyle. That literally is hitting below the belt, slashing me. Like, it, th- that was just uncalled for. Um, so uh, it was a great scene though overall and it just really I think showed a lot about the characters <laughs> and showed that this show can tackle certain issues even though it is a campy primetime soap mm-hmm. sometimes it can tackle certain issues in a way that other shows wouldn't be able to tackle just because of the nature of the shows well I will say Excellent. this if I'm not mistaken I, I, I was on Twitter and I think Jesse tweeted that him and um, Terrence Howard rewrote this scene and Ooh. this was this was mainly their doing. So Ooh. I'll go back and check. But if I'm not mistaken, they did have a hand in it. So that says a lot. And I'm not shading, but it, it totally makes sense because when I when I saw the scene, I was like, "This is the this is the piece that they're going to submit for his Emmy nomination." They should, yeah. Yes. Well, I so, mean, agree uh, all yeah. around. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Okay, yeah. so no, now excellent analysis. Let's go to Cookie and Jamal. Um, so Jamal is livid, mm-hmm. trying to speak to Cookie about what's going on, and of course she's brushing him off because Lucius, 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 Lucius. But then she hears the name Jamal and Frida Gatson together. She blows a gasket, and then she reveals what her why what what's her issue with um with Frida, and she reveals that. She um she snitched on uh the Frank Gathers. Chris well Rock. Like at some point you gotta you gotta let people know what they're up against. Yeah. This whole blind they, mm-hmm. like going in blind that's not fair to anybody and 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 I'm glad they finally got to this point. But I mean I just wish they would have done it sooner because you you can't play with people with kid gloves. People mm-hmm. people assume that the people in their lives won't be able to handle it or they they should know. No, let people make the decision about what they want to do with the information. Give it to them up front. If they can't handle it, that's on them. Do the you then you can clean up on the back end, but I'm glad they took the kid gloves off and just told them. Also too, I think that for me Cookie, and I think she probably has been for a little while, but Cookie's starting to get on my nerves because I'm starting not to trust her. And the reason I'm starting not to trust her is you can't play with, you can't treat me like a child unless you are a 100% protective parent. And you have not been. The fact that you even still allow Lucius in my space the way that you do shows to me that I cannot necessarily trust you to protect me. The fact that you have this girl whose father you killed literally still around us because you have not told me shows that that I cannot trust you and you are not protecting me. So for me, the fact that she finally told him now was not only irritating a little bit too late, it's like, dude, you're just gonna do it out in the open that way? Like, it was almost like because she waited so long and then had to tell him 
you know, four or five episodes after she should have told him, she then told him out in the open in a way where it's like, yo, y'all don't use code words. And I'm not trying to sound shady because no, I'm a hundred percent sidewalk like through and through, but like me and my friends talking code. I'm just keeping it 100. Like, I have a friend that I've known for 20 years. We still, to this day, talk in code about people from high school. Yeah. You're smart. So, Especially when you're talking about murder. Right, somebody. exactly. And we're talking about, oh, yeah, she thinks she's cute now on Facebook. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, so I think that for me, there was a certain aspect. And then I didn't... I didn't feel for her. Do, do you remember no, saying like when she was saying, "Well, it's the only time I snitched." You still snitched. Yeah. Like I don't, and I'm not. I'm not pro or against this whole whatever. Just in the context of the show, a snitch is a snitch is a snitch. It doesn't matter if you did it once or if you did it twice. The whole concept is, if you were a criminal element, you shouldn't rat on other people in a criminal element because you are a criminal and you chose that life. So to me, her being like, oh, well, whatever, and he would have killed all of us, I kind of don't really get your point because you killed this (laughs) little girl's dad. And now what's even worse is you then want me to take her record deal away from her. So let's let's really think about this. So not only did y'all kill her dad, in some weird, sick, twisted way, it actually maybe is somewhat good karma that she's now at Empire. She would have never probably had a career. Mm -hmm. So now at least she possibly has a career. No, think about it. Has a career, will have money, whatever. But now you want to take that away from her too? It didn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Or keep her there and watch her. Yes, keep her enemies close. Yeah. Yeah. Closer. Shit. That's true. Or stop killing people and y'all wouldn't be dealing with this in the first place. Well, yeah. I mean, and I was I was gonna first uh, disagree with you about uh, about the cold thing because it's TV, but this kind of show makes sense to do cold because we would understand it just from the nature of Completely. the type of, of the viewers that watch exactly. the show. Yeah. Uh, Cookie Carol and Tariq. All right, so um, a lot of things were revealed with this Tariq character. Uh, you have Carol who. As a past with Tariq, you, um, he was an ex uh policeman. Now he's working for the FBI. Uh, Carol thinks Cookie is trying to steal Tariq from her. Cookie thinks Tariq is using Carol to get info on the Lions. Cookie kicks Carol out for drinking again. Um, Carol made a good point. Do you think that she just don't care nothing about her family and that it's just all about Cookie, Lucius, and Empire? Or was Carol in her feelings because she's thinking that you trying to steal my man again? Well, it's a, it's a combination. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, well, on the one hand, I will say after Cookie went to the restaurant or to Leviticus, sat with him, uh, that was cool. But the fact that she still let Carol go on the date afterward, mm-hmm. that was a problem. Yep. Because one, if you're mm-hmm. staying in my house and mm-hmm. I'm supporting you, you can easily say, okay, cool, you can date anybody you want. First of all, I don't want your man, Tariq, or your your, your freak, Tariq, whatever you want to call him. I don't want him. But also, you're not going on a date with him. I don't need to give you a reason why you're staying in my house. You can either get out, or if you want to stay here. Like, it could have been mm-hmm. solved easier. Um, second of all, after um, Portia put that thought in her head on mm-hmm. the last episode, mm-hmm. that, that was already there for all these years. Um, and unfortunately, anytime... A lot of times there's always that family member who anytime somebody in their family gets some type of success, they think that they automatically deserve the reward. Well, who was there for you? Who was help supporting you in your lowest moments? Who Like there's always that person who thinks that because of, mm-hmm. and granted, I, some of the points that Carol was making, I understood. She was saying, you know, you rolled on Lucius' uh, band, like you were just riding his coattail on the way up and you're only there because of Lucius. I got what she was saying. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that you deserve anything, Carol. So uh, it, it, it kind of bothered me the the whole altercation that they had, um, but at the same time, it, it needed to happen because. And mm-hmm. I I don't, I don't agree what she was saying as far as not caring about her family. I do believe that Cookie cares about her family. I, it, it's it, it just becomes complicated because when you have a family member saying those type of things, then it's like that's why I think Cookie got so angry. It's like yes, I fucking care, but you're not treating me the way I need to be treated either. Like. And not only that, I think also, too, it's one of those things where it's like, you can care about your family, but I also have a family that I brought into this world. Mm -hmm. So to me, I think especially, and I'm not a parent, so I'm a child, so maybe this is why I care. But to me, when you bring children to this world, like you, they, they didn't have a choice in being brought, right? So you have to protect them. Everyone else on some levels is ancillary, right? Because you're an adult. I didn't bring you in. You're my older sister. So at the end of the day, like, if I have to choose 
sadly I have no I have no other choice than morally spiritually to choose my children so if in fact I think that you drinking or or again dating a fed and we're all criminals including you dude if you cannot realize that then maybe I can no longer deal with you because that that's a that's a disconnect in terms of your 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 acuity that is deeper than you being an addict. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So meaning it's like, yeah, A, you're drinking again and somehow you don't think that's a problem and you just got out of rehab and you're saying in my house and your kids were with who? Like, you ain't Portia. Yeah. The difference is you don't actually get to jump around and be in some red dress or whatever. What about your kids? No, do you trying to say like you just acting like it's spring break or you in college and you got not you don't got no troubles, right? That's the first part. The second part is again, I wish kind of that Cookie had said, "Oh, he's a fed," and I just maybe she did, but I kind of wish she had said that so that she could have at least given her some context. But then the other part of it also too is, I don't need to give you context. You want to know why? Even the whole concept when she's like, oh, you rode on um, Lucius's coattails? Actually, bitch, you don't know shit. Number two, I went to jail for 17 years. Like, if you don't really... No, but come on. Like, she's she's pretending like Cookie is some, you know, debutante mm-hmm. walking, like, literally, like, trophy wife gold digger bitch. Sorry. Ooh, see, I'm trying to be calmer day. But do you want to say? No, really, though. Like, do you want to say? Like, no. It's like, I'm really about this life. I've always been about this life. Like, I, I, I literally gave my life for this, including for you. So when you were all stressed because the little red rose and we're all whatever, 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 that's why we had to f- kill Frank Gathers. So part of this also situation is because we didn't think you could handle shit. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. So it's just like she's sloppy and it's like, oh, boo-hoo. The only thing we haven't talked about is, boo-hoo, so what if Lucius was with her before? Like, what were we, like, 10? No, sorry, that's disgusting. 18. It, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, get she's over so, it. Probably with so everybody. Yeah. Like, whatever. You have anything? Even though no. that is in my family, we don't do that. Just yeah, to keep it 100. But in the way it sounded, that her and Lucius just was just talking on the phone. Exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah. Even, and, well, like, like she saw him yeah. walking down the street. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like hey, and tried to holler at him. And yeah. That's totally. It. Yeah. And uh, sorry, last thing. Uh, it it kind of goes to what you were saying, Sophia. But uh, even further, like it'll be different if she had just got out of jail and mm-hmm. she was still not having like position. She's the co CEO of the company <laughs> now. You walking in talking about how my dress look? Yeah. But you know what? People can't handle that. This just shows the different mm-hmm. levels of yeah. of when you have someone in a position and then the, the family members and the pieces around them. Everybody can't hop in and mm-hmm. lock and no, step and walk and the it's way so, that they need to And it's so walk. funny because think about it. We we are obviously not on their level at all. But don't you notice your friends like, yo, why can you don't return my phone call so quick? Mm-hmm. About the same shit we talked about every single freaking day. Mm-hmm. I'm busy, dude. I don't <laughs> no, but you were going to say, like, do you know how many texts I get? Like, oh, Oh my god, Sophie, like you just don't hang out anymore. I saw you last week. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But it is that concept because the difference is they're seeing you the same amount of time. The difference is what they're doing is they're seeing you on their timeline. Think about it. When people start seeing you on their timeline do things that they didn't see you doing before, people start to react one of two ways. Either people go, Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. Is there anything I can do to help you keep going in the direction you're going? Oh. Or there are the people like, yo, you change. Why are you so busy? What are you doing? Bop, 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 bop. So I think that Carol showed herself mm-hmm. which of those two sides she falls on. Mm-hmm. Uh, just one other question, uh, two other questions uh, uh, for this story. And that was Shade. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you guys think told Tariq um, Lucius killed Monkey? Just curiosity. Who you streets think? talk. Yeah. Yeah. I think that the street, streets be talking. You can't... Like, People talk. And he worked for and the fast. He's still related to uh, what's the girl from last with the boobs that always hanging out. Tits McGee. Yeah. Tits McGee. Yeah. Also, too, and I can't recall because how did they pull Ricky him in to Mama. begin with? How they what? Remember when they pulled Lucius in to begin with for for killing Bunky? Remember how Lucius was actually in jail for killing Bunky? Wow, who? Oh. What information they have? That was Vernon, right? Yeah, information. So and then they couldn't find so Vernon. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. really, so okay, think about yeah. it. So you already have like evidence. They like, can't just get him on that because they can't Vernon's get him gone. on that because yeah, Vernon's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. But you still are reading yeah, yeah. the transcript yeah, yeah. and you know him. Yeah, you so gotcha. uh, the, mm-hmm. the last thing. So since Tariq is not going to go after Carol, now he's going to go after Boo Boo Kitty. Just really quickly, it's a prediction. But do you think? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think she's going to uh, spill? Do you think she's going to say anything? Or she's you... going to sing like a canary. I don't know, because we saw her on the... Well, on the no, yeah. I don't say predictions. I don't... Oh, see, I watch on Fox. Yeah, yeah I didn't they see the do, previews. They don't do previews. Oh, so, oh, oh, I'll next... give a prediction based <laughs> oh, okay, on not ahead. seeing the previews. Okay. Okay. 
I don't think she'll sing unless she's threatened by one of the lions about not being down with the crew or they threaten that baby. If they threaten that baby or her, <laughs> then I think she's going to be like, well, I'll talk. If they leave her alone oh my and God, just I let her live. Thing, and, it's I so, and I totally agree with you, and that's so the bad call. If they threaten you, that's even more reason not to talk. Yeah. If you don't talk, like, literally, like, I'd rather, I'm way more afraid of the lions than I am of the feds. Like, I'm just going to keep it 100. I feel like, sorry. No, sorry, no, no, you. I'm done, yeah. I feel like, uh, I'm about to say Sophia is so smart. <laughs> I feel like Anika is um, so smart and intelligent where, and she knows so much about the company and, like, the inside of everything that's happened, where if I was her, I'd be able to, have you ever seen, like, in movies and TV shows, they give enough information about something else? That won't incriminate mm-hmm. them. It's completely unrelated. Mm-hmm. It's still dirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's, she could do it's something like, how like cookie, that. How Cookie did with the streaming yes. service, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. She can do something mm-hmm. like that where they won't get in trouble, but she can. I think she should do that. Yeah, actually, I'm going to save it because even though I didn't see the prediction, I mean, I didn't do y'all want to know what was in the preview? It yeah. won't really give anything away. Basically, yeah, because I'm gonna, I, if I say yeah. it, they're going to be like, she watched the preview anyway. Basically, like, on the preview, she was sitting on the edge of a yeah. building about to commit suicide, like jump off. Oh. So. Mm-hmm. Girl, it ain't that bad. Something? So then yeah. it's like, can it be I that bad? I don't like where they're going with her character. It's sad. Like, really, dude? She was such a strong character. Yeah. Uh, like, you... Okay, so speaking of smart or dumb, what do you guys think about <laughs> Rhonda's a tactic approach to Boo Kitty? when she asked her about the red bottom shoes and they're both day and night shoes and did she wear them during the night? Meaning the night when she was pushed down the stairs. I think it was a dumb move for her to ask that question because Boo Boo Kitty is not dumb. I'm on the fence with that one because when some... Well, yeah, you got to be strategic and you got to get evidence and you got to make sure that you coming at somebody correctly. Okay, mm-hmm. you want to be sure. But on the other hand, you tried to kill me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bitch, did you push me down yeah, the steps, Yeah, though? yeah, yeah. <laughs> you pushed me down the steps, yeah, though. Yeah, Like, ask me. Ask her yeah. straight out. I don't think... A part of mm-hmm. me doesn't think she asked aggressively enough. She was mm-hmm. like, did you have those shoes on? Now, bitch, I saw the shoes. Yeah. You came to my house and I saw the shoes. Did you push me mm-hmm. down the yeah. steps, though? Yeah. I really, I agree with that. I don't like the way it was left. You know, that was the only... Well, we had a, it was a cliffhanger moment for us, though. I, was, think, yeah. I think what I liked about it is it kind of reminded me more of what Cookie needs to start doing. Like, we keep saying Cookie needs to be more upfront. Mm-hmm. Like, you can sit on it. Like, if I have a problem <laughs> with you, we can sit here. We can act like nothing's wrong. And we can, like, keep doing the back and forth. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm really busy with my meetings. Oh, I have to go. Oh, oh mm-hmm. okay, I'll get to you. Or you can just say, so you remember those shoes? Oh, yeah, those shoes that night like you know what I mean like, just be out in the open with I don't know when there's any type of altercation I just I like to just get it out there so I kind of like the approach okay uh, okay so Andre Mother Walker and Lucius um, so Leah Mother I Walker I love her, I love her. I love her. Um, yes no that, that is exactly the right word savage, you're totally right man. she is a savage okay well just open floor what do you guys think about um, oh, this storyline and them being, you know, locked into the panic room, and she's like, "I want to go to the part, not the party, the awards." I think and- you probably did say party. <laughs> probably. probably, yeah. She's Take like, that. "I want to go. I've never seen my sons. I've never seen my son perform." I. She's like, "I want to go." And at first, I thought Andre was trying to avoid her from coming. And yeah, then funny. At, yeah. And then I at some point, it's like, "Okay, Rhonda got your dress." It's like, "Okay." Andre stupid. Yeah. I'll, I'll let somebody else go, but Andre stupid. <laughs> I don't he have anything to say. Except, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you Dumb serious, dude? You oh, think that you literally, like, nobody's going to think, oh, Leah's at home. We're just going to leave her there. She'll be fine. Yeah. Like, nobody's going to think that you are not going to try to get her there when you're the person who brought her to the house. I don't know. He's and just... also, too, I, this is the only thing with Andre that I also don't understand. Dude, what are you doing? Right. Like, what right. are you doing? <laughs> like, so when she goes, oh, I'm really Lucius's mom, and Lucius is a lying bastard, so then you're going to become a CEO? Like, you guys just got your company back. Like, does he not so realize? Dumb. Like, he to say he's so dumb is an understatement, because literally the next time y'all kind of lose your company, y'all are going to lose the company. Yeah. There is no coming back from this. There is no, like, oh, now your mom and dad are co-CEOs. Like, <laughs> it's almost like he... Okay, minus the scene that we saw, obviously, when he had to, like, hide the gun and blah, blah, blah. And I'm not, and I'm being condescending on purpose. But, like, dude, you have a fucking perfect life. Like, boo fucking who that you only the motherfucking CFO of the biggest music company in the history of music companies. After you had how many breakdowns? Most normal people in real life don't get to have be bipolar 
and mess up the way that you do and you still have a job and think that you have a right to own the company? Get the fuck over yourself. No, no but really, yeah, dude. But no, it, even, on a, even on a basic level, Andre missed the family drama memo. If grandma say her son is a, a lying bastard, Grandma can't come over to the house because Grandma is gonna do something and they're gonna get the fighting. I no 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 no. You can't like that's mm-hmm. just that's just regular family code. If I said so, my mom, I'm a piece of shit. Like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They'd be like, "Whoop, well, you can't go." Oh, yeah, whoop, no, whoop, no, whoop, no, whoop. You have to have two different dinners. You have to have two, two Thanksgivings. You can't come yeah. over and hang out. So yeah. the fact that he's like, "Come on, Grandma, let's no. go to the yeah. house. I got your dress." And again, like, who's bringing? How old is she? Who's bringing an eighty year old woman? To an award show, and you don't even know if she's taking her meds. Are you taking your meds? That's all you ask her? Dude, you know you don't take your meds. Exactly. And no, she didn't have her that. hair done. You can't show up exactly. to like the Oscar Grammys. There were so many issues. And then the also, the whole right. time when the they therapy. were in that. <laughs> I can't. Aww. When they maybe they had <laughs> they wanted to have a hairstylist cute, ready to. That's what makes yeah. it great because she is so cute. Yeah. When they She's were in that panic room woman. the whole time, I was thinking because the whole preview was a lion will fall. The whole time I was thinking somebody was gonna die in that panic room. Mm-hmm. Oh snap! Yeah, you thought the grandma was gonna ice him? Yeah, yes, I did. Yes, okay. I literally <laughs> thought Andre was dead because he was banging on the wall, just waiting for her to turn. You don't fuck that damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she hey. had it hit in her bra. I know. That would have actually been good. Yeah. That would have been good. You look like my son. I love that. Liar! Liar! The only thing that the only thing that I didn't like about that scene is I felt thirsty should have left Mother Walker in the panic room. I'm sorry. He should have left. Yeah, her. yeah he should have left. Totally agree. Well, left I totally that? agree. Yes, just, agreed. Because with all that chaos, they they're dysfunctional. They can't watch after Mother yeah. Walker. They should have left her in. Well, yeah. clearly I they think can't. the only thing is the, also let's think about it. He's really drunk. Oh yeah, thirsty. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> he was so caught off guard too. <laughs> like he literally. Yeah. Felt, I mean, he didn't know what to do. He came out the gun. Okay. Yeah, same thing. Like, dude, you have such an easy job doing. He really does. Really, like people are incompetent. They should all get fired. He's not fully. He does. No, 85%. literally, dude. All you have to do is watch him. He's in a panic room. Yeah. You literally yeah. drank so much you fell asleep. Yeah, bruh. Nah, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> and your boss is up for an award. You can't even stay up to watch the award. I know award <laughs> really? shows are boring, but I mean, come right, on. Yeah, <laughs> they really are. Speaking of <laughs> fabulous. Speaking so of so fabulous. Yeah. Speaking of the Ace Awards. <laughs> um, <laughs> This would have been the perfect time to. Yes. This would have been the perfect time to have all those cameos. cameos. I, you are, in my, head. Like, you are so like, in my head, bam. Literally, what? preach. Yeah. It makes they so the mm-hmm. only the only outlet yes. that they had that was legit was E. Like they had mm-hmm. E on there, which is kind of cool. Yes. yes. Oh God, how do I? Say? It could have got BET. I don't want to throw. Can, can y'all remind me to just say E off air so yeah. I can remind mm-hmm. you? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So it was almost good. Mm-hmm. Um. And then. You're right with the celeb cameos because watching it, it legit felt like a real red carpet. Like mm-hmm. I was getting, I was yeah. like, oh, this feels yeah. real. Mm-hmm. But the fact that there were all these people who did not look like celebrities, right? At all, because at least at least run back the cameos that we already had. Yeah. So Estelle, Patty Alicia LaBelle. Keys, Patty Labelle. Where is Skyler? Where, where is Alicia Keys? Where is Alicia Keys? Skyler. Mm-hmm. Where was Tiana? Timbaland produces music on the show. You couldn't get Timbaland on the red carpet. Yeah, yeah like, so like, smart. Like yeah. little people like that, not yeah. little people. But you get what yeah. I'm saying. Like that would have made it feel that like missing piece. Yeah, yeah. just something. Excellent point. Something. Both of you. Excellent point. I don't know. And I'm not gonna say anything about the girl group singing fabulous. Oh, I already oh, think no. I said it. But the thing is with them, <laughs> I saw they were a part of some competition. They won like the new Empire group or whatever. So I can get good for them. No, but that's a group. No, show? it's not the group for Star. Oh, for, Star. for the new show? It's not the group for Star. Okay, no. good. See, my thing is, I actually didn't have a problem with them. I just thought that their song went on too long. Mm-hmm. Oh. Does that make sense? So if they had been yeah. the first, like, 20 seconds, that actually was a good song. Yeah. But not enough to literally think about The song played throughout the entire scene, which was about three minutes. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> Hakeem and Laura. Uh, so, she's in her feelings because her career hasn't taken off the way it is. But is, is she I didn't understand this I didn't storyline. I didn't understand it at so, all. Because because I didn't think she was in her feelings. I think she was doing like a normal girl planning her wedding. And because she's a celebrity, she's planning on, you know, who she's going to give the pictures to. It was Hakeem who was like, well, your career's not taking off like we thought it was. Wait, dude, I'm confused. Wedding, but, but and also, the, I'm confused. There was a You're preview. a new art. 
uh, when you when uh, there was a preview before when they were like previously on Empire, yeah. there was a clip of her going off on Hakeem. I don't remember that scene. Oh, yeah, I remember. I so know, so when she wasn't picked, yeah. Yeah. when she wasn't picked, I think right? the reason okay. why he said that whole okay. thing is sorry. I'm pulling the chair. The reason why he said that whole thing is because she was talking about trying to get them in the Us Weekly magazine, right. like yeah. having a having a thing. And he's saying I don't really want all that. Right. Yeah. So I think he's thinking because this will be good for her career. And she also no, mentioned, no, no, but, then, but, but she it, also mentioned that um, with Us Weekly doing the exclusive, that maybe. They could uh, put one of her. Song- they can put a couple of her songs on the website. So right, it did but this, come but this is my way. thing is. But then his explanation actually doesn't make any sense. It so doesn't. so then that's actually the the reason that we should actually be in Us Weekly. Oh yeah, exactly. Do you get what I'm saying? Like we popping, would, right? I need, I need to be relevant. Totally. And since when do Jam- do Hakeem not want exposure? Exactly. This is Hakeem. It'll be yeah. good for both of them. That's what I'm saying. Like this, I did not solidifying their relationship, and especially yeah. like, we forgot Anika is pregnant. Yeah, yeah. You need to say. Yeah. You need so to you could be like, yeah. sure, baby. Yeah. I how about how many understand. pages do we want to do this spread? Do we want them to come say, to our honeymoon too. I didn't later on, that. though, I saw a hint of of it when they were on the red carpet because when they took the picture together and mm-hmm. she was like enjoying it, and mm-hmm. then they said, "Okay, Hakeem alone," mm-hmm. and she stood to the side looking mm-hmm. all salty. Mm-hmm. That kind of bothered me, just because it, it, it wasn't any shade thrown towards her. It's just what what bothered you about it? No, I, it, the fact if you looked at her face, yeah. it wasn't like oh that's my boo. We get it married. I was proud. And the thing is, at those type of events, everybody's looking. It'll be different if that was just if Hakeem was with. But totally. But I think the problem is that's actually again. And granted, like Hakeem's no longer the CEO. That's on Hakeem and the fact that and we I think we've talked about this on the show that there's no longer true A and R. Remember back in the day with A and R, they used to train you. Mm-hmm. So they like literally. That's why when people used to make jokes about Beyonce, like always on beat, it's because Beyonce was trained. Does it make sense? It doesn't matter what is going on. You have that smile on your face. You're looking at everyone. You're smiling. So they say step to the left. You step to the left a little bit further. You're you're, you're out of frame, <laughs> but you're still smiling. Yeah. You're still smiling. She's such a new artist who has no concept of how quickly she came up. Yeah. So that was just a real reaction from her. She's a kid too. She's yeah. a kid, and I. But for what what I really liked about the scene is the symmetry. Because remember that used to be him and Tiana, mm-hmm. when yeah. everyone was like, "Oh, he's just Lucius's son," and everyone only wanted Tiana to be in the limelight. True. So it just shows you how things have come full circle. But to me, that just like you're saying, because of look on her face, it's 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 predicting itself Wait, because uh, that whole. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, no. No, please go go ahead. Oh, because the only thing is, it's like, literally, did we believe that? (laughs) Oh, my only dream is to be your wife. That's what I I was like. I am not rooting for your character anymore. I literally almost took my phone and threw it at the TV. I was like, please. No, I was going to say, um,. That's why I didn't want to interrupt because it's not yeah. that important. <laughs> was Tiana there? No, no she wasn't. That's so what Beyonce only, said. Oh, yeah. I can't. Yeah. I, did, I, did, I, did, I yeah. still don't understand it now that y'all even broke it down. I still yeah. don't understand yeah, it. The it only thing I can come up with was last episode when he was looking at Tiana in the studio and admiring her or whatever he was yeah. doing and now he's looking at Laura. To me, it seems like yes. the old story of my girl ain't popping enough and I'm yes. going to put you on the back because you ain't the the big thing and yes. I'm going to pursue the big mm-hmm. name. Yes, agreed. Mm-hmm. I totally, well mm-hmm. said, Camille, I totally agree. So that's all I can come up with. Although I don't, there, yeah, every, I don't particularly like this this storyline with with, uh, yeah. with Lauren Hakeem, but then I go back to, remember when Tiana was trying to teach her how to be sexy and walk and so forth? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> well, like you said, she's lacking the and on. So I just, mm-hmm. I just felt like you know, rather than her going at her and selling her clothes, it would have been just a great moment for women to have each other's back rather than that cat shit. Uh, okay, what else about the Ace Awards? Okay, so um, uh, Carol comes in drunk. She's uh, asked to be escorted, and Frida drops the bomb. Um, well, she drops the bomb to Frida. Frida has a flashback. She reflects and. She did like um, that was like a double. It was like lethal that, weapon, right? right. She yeah, was yeah, 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 out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, completely. Yeah, um, literally. Yeah, and she grabs a gun. She goes for Lucius. Jamal gets in front, saying no, and he winds up getting shot. So before we go to the ER, what was your thoughts just about that great dramatic scene? Well, fortunately, I didn't watch until today. Oh, and I purposely did not go on Facebook or Twitter. And made the mistake of going on Instagram. Oh. And it was still spoiled on Instagram, so that's all I have to say about that. For me, y'all know I'm just picky. 
if this is supposed to be the Grammy equivalent. Yeah, I know where you're mm-hmm. going. Yes. Mm-hmm. Even if she grabbed one security guard's gun, like the type of security they have at those type of events, I, I, I just don't think that she would have gotten that far. It would have never, just to be real, it would have never happened because when you go to the, when you go to the Grammys and to the Emmys and all the other stuff, there are tons and tons and tons of security. I was going to go actually go easy and not talk about how unrealistic it was and her grabbing the gun. I wasn't going to get, I wasn't even going to go off to that, to that tangent, but for the sake of TV, I thought it was a good dramatic piece. No, it was good. It's just, I'm more confused about, is he off the show? Like, let's get to yeah, it. I don't even know why I think he's but, not off the show. Let's get to the meat. Okay, so you know what wait, I know save, that, save that for news and gossip. Oh, yes, okay. Why are you in my head? Yeah. Because yeah. 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 mm-hmm. we got a rap soon, yeah, so yeah. we need to get okay. to the okay. meat. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, that was well, pretty... My, yeah. that, that, he got <laughs> shot. And... Yo, and she's a G. Like, yeah. I don't care if it's unbelievable. I don't care whatever. Like, her character oh, yeah. is so 100 no, no. Yeah. about that life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She came. Yo, for really? Yeah. When she, she grabbed the gun. Yeah, yeah, the way, yeah, exactly. There was no hesitation. There was no whatever. I, and I love the like, fact that they used her, her lack of heights. How she was running and ducking uh, under. Uh, it was, uh, it was a, it was a great scene. Mm-hmm. I probably took them all day to shoot it, but it was just a great oh, scene. Oh, security couldn't even see her. They turned around. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't see her at all. Um, okay. And my only thing is just because it's important to me. Yo, to have a car on your wrist. Mm. Okay, mm. cookie mm. goals. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Goals. Mm. Get you a Lucius, girl. Mm. Nah. That was. She will suck yeah. ass. No, because I'm from Jamaica, so we'll get already. I thought also, I thought. Frida <laughs> Gadsden. Yeah. I thought Cookie's dramatic performance, I, I felt like that whole entire sequence was her, that was her submission for Emmy, because I thought she did a great job just with all the, just, she did a great job. So I mm-hmm. don't have anything to say, but mm-hmm. I love that spe- uh, that particular scene. I guess we'll talk about the Jesse. We'll talk about that during predictions. So for right now, DJ, drop the beat. Let's go to Cold Piece of the Week. Cold Piece of the Week for this week's episode of Fox's Empire. It has to go to one part, Frida Gats for a, a potentially murdering somebody. <laughs> this, that's enough said about her. And then second part of the Cold Piece is the fact that Jesse is tweeting out these cryptic tweets about his character. Are you dead, brother? He gets cold peace. Jesse, you get cold peace for tweeting that shit right after uh, your character gets shot. Because now everybody is sitting up here wondering what's going to happen. And just like a true professional, you left us on the edge. So we definitely watch it next week. Everybody's going to watch next week. So for that reason, you too get Cold Piece of the Week. Hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And let us know who you think Cold Piece of the Week should be using hashtag Cold Piece. Okay, and so for predictions, t- speaking of the tweet, Jesse says, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time with that Empire Fox. I love you all. Truth. Time to make record. Time to make a record. Can we do and violent movies. music? Hashtag Empire. Yeah. Also, then, <laughs> also, a couple of weeks ago when they rapped for the season two, there was a video that was sent out where he was in a tuxedo with the rest of everybody, which I'm assuming is Hakeem's wedding. Hmm. So... Is Hakeem still getting married, though? Well, the preview yeah, shows, the preview shows, the preview shows at, that, yeah, that they're getting married. So if you're in a... You know su- he's standing her up at the altar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you're wearing a tuxedo along with everyone else... Also, too, come on, y'all. Like, we're not stupid. And they're not stupid. Like, we make a lot of jokes on this show... Mm-hmm. They're not stupid. In the same way that Game of Thrones yeah. was not stupid. Okay, no, so let's be real. Yeah. I haven't caught yeah. up. I, I'm one episode behind. Uh, well, you should be fine then. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah. so, no, <laughs> you should be fine what we're talking about. Okay. But anyway, in case you're not, we'll be quiet. <laughs> um, so here's what. I like to be like a little investigator. Okay, so he first of all, he hasn't tweeted anything since to that amps up the hype. Um, so you can take it a lot of ways, okay? So one, he put... I thoroughly enjoyed my time with Empire Fox. I love you all. Truth. Time to make a record into movies. Now, if you want to take it as the actual character in the show, um, during his interview with E, he said oh. on the show, he said, you know, this is the last time I'm performing with my family, which kind of sounds like he's done with Empire. So if you take that, it says, I thoroughly enjoyed my time with Empire. I love you all. Truth. Time to make a record into movies. And that could be with somebody else. Like, focus on himself, which he said we were going to do on the show. So he, he could be speaking as, as yeah. Jamal. Second of all, he could just be saying, ooh, I've enjoyed my time of Empire this season. I love you all. I'm going to make a record, which he's already talked about doing. He's literally making his EP mm-hmm. and record some movies. He's shooting Alien right now in Australia. So 
Is he really? Yeah. Oh, that's He's awesome. He's in a new alien. My only last comment is um, contractually... He's still under contract. Yes. So there's actually there's there's if there's is there's no world and no contract that would literally not include their social media presence. So he would contractually not be allowed to send that tweet unless they scripted the tweet to make us have this conversation. Yeah, good. Perfect. Any other predictions? Nope. My prediction is um is and no, I don't believe he's dead. I'm still going with my faithful. I've said from day one or season one that one of the brothers will have to go at some point. And so if it's going to be a brother that has to go, I'm going to say it's Andre. Yeah, okay, I it's, agree. it's Andre. I you know, he wants to be religious and so forth. Well, the Bible says without the vision, the people will perish. Mm -hmm. He has no vision. He doesn't know what he's talking about. What? He doesn't know what he's doing. So therefore, he has to perish. So, I agree. Yeah. That's it. I'm, I'm good. Wait, sorry. We're yeah. kicking. Who has yeah, the Yeah, Andre. So, oh, yeah. Rap, yeah. Yeah. so uh, but, <laughs> but the finale, but the finale, um, the finale trailer looks great. Yeah. There's a lot of inch, there's a lot of stuff that's to be revealed, and um, and I don't think it will be Boo Boo Kitty because I think that's too predictable, and that's all I'm gonna say. No, I think he knows. No, seriously, Bambi knowing shit. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I predict know? that uh that Put Leah on a piece of paper. Grandma Leah mm -hmm. is about to start some shit because they left us with that cliffhanger. Oh yeah, that's right. And she's been she's yeah. been inch, itching to speak. She sure is. But then that's the only anyways, I'll talk about it offline. Because okay. it's like why didn't Lucius just literally say as he was talking about his mother, like exactly. you know what I mean? And it, that's why she was in a hospital for so many years and I'm so glad to have her back. Like it's dude, too you easy. should and the but funny thing is, the on. funny thing is, during his speech, at first I was like, "Oh, he's he's the mm -hmm. way he said it. He mm -hmm. said I lost my mother to mental illness.' Oh, yes. But then he continued it by saying mm -hmm. she actually died. Yeah. Like that's what he could have yeah. just stopped. I lost my mother to mental Completely. illness. If anything came yeah. out, it's called poetic license. The fact exactly. that we think things are so literal in this time meet, speaks to our lack of creativity, not the artist. Yeah. He's dumb. Man. And I just mm -hmm. want to congratulate the winner of the Asa for Record of the Year to POC. I knew neither one of them bros were gonna win. Ha ha ha. So <laughs> let everyone know where you can be find <laughs> on social media. Go Ooh, ahead. I can't. Uh, you can find me at email and it's junior. Um, specifically, check out my Instagram um, on Snapchat. <laughs> yes, please. On Snapchat, do. find me at email and it's junior31. Please. Thank you. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Cornelia. Also, I'll be at Flappers Comedy Club on hey. May 24th. Hit me up online for ticket info. If you're still a little turnt and you need a shot of conversation, check out our podcast, Happy Hour, at Happy Hour underscore TV. Happy Hour, shot of conversation on iTunes. If you want to speak to me, at Sophia Stanley, Twitter and Facebook, at the Sophia Stanley on Instagram. And you can find me on all social media, at Bam Erickson. And also, just a reminder, I have a film that's coming out on Amazon on this Tuesday, May 17th. It's called whoop, whoop, All About I, the Money. I, you guys can check it out. It will be available for both rent and for uh, purchase. It's All About the Money. You can check us out on our website at www.allaboutthemoney.com moneymovie.com or you can follow us on our social media at AATM Film. All about the money, Amazon, May 17th. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you. Go ahead. And if you're watching the live chat right now, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. Thanks. Hey. Uh, finale next week. You don't want to miss it. See you guys. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. Bang, bang, bang. bang. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.